Mr. Speaker, I rise today to implore Congress to take action to fund Zika response efforts in South Florida, throughout the country, and all over the world. Seven months have passed since the administration made its initial request for $1.9 billion to combat Zika, a request I supported. As of September 7th, the state of Florida alone has seen 596 travel-related cases and 80 Zika infections involving pregnant women. Across the United States, thousands more have been infected with the virus. Mr. Speaker, Florida has been ground zero for Zika, and we are seeing firsthand the devastating impacts it has not only on public health, but on our economy as well. Neighborhoods in Wynwood and Miami Beach and other communities across Florida are seeing decreased tourist traffic, and some residents, especially pregnant women, are fearful to venture outdoors. My wife and I know pregnant women who have moved away from South Florida to protect themselves and their unborn babies from a potential Zika infection. Over the months of July and August, I met with the director of the Centers for Disease Control, Dr. Tom Frieden, as well as other government officials, including Senator Rubio, Governor Scott, and my Florida colleagues from both parties to discuss the progress of the government's response and the importance of funding these efforts long term. It's imperative that Congress act on Zika legislation as soon as possible to provide the CDC and other agencies at the national, state, and local levels the tools they need to rid our neighborhoods of this disease. Combating Zika is not a Republican or Democrat initiative. It should be a national priority. The mosquitoes carrying this disease will not discriminate between congressional lines or infect people from only certain states. All members of Congress, from both parties and across the country, must appreciate the severity of inaction on passing Zika funding legislation. Let's put politics aside and get this done for our communities and for all Americans.